So welcome, welcome back. It's another day out on the beach. Behind me, you can see uh, Brighton. And over there is the marina. And over there is the pier. So today I'm fishing for place. I'm at the Banjo Groin. It's um, coming up for half seven. High tide around about half 11 and uh, got two rods in the water. So it's early days, hoping for some place. I'm glad to be out somewhere different than my local beaches, probably like a lot of people. Uh, quite a few places have been coming out this neck of the woods, I believe. Uh, quite a lot on the, uh, the Marina uh, East Pier. And uh, yeah, so looking forward to it. Another day at it, let's go and bag a place. Well, I just thought I'd show you the rigs I'm using. So I'm using a two hook clip down. So I've gone for some different colored beads uh, with a little spoon on each as well. So a bit of a test today. So on this, I've gone for sort of like pink and greens and a spoon. On my other rod, the rig, I've gone for the traditional green and black. And I'm going to see what produces the best. It'll be interesting to see actually. Looks like looking at the state of that ragworm, there's a few crabs around already. So I think I should be reeling in more so than I normally do. But um, yeah, it's only first chuck out. Still early days, so all should be good. I've just had my first bite on this rod here and it was quite a nice bite actually so I'm just gonna have a feel for it. Yeah. Oh there is something there I think. Yeah there is something there. Definitely. Definitely, there's something there. So I'm going to reel down and uh, see what's occurring. I'm down at the water's edge now. It feels all right, actually. It feels like there might be something decent there, actually. It's certainly given a bend in the rod, that's for sure. Mind you, this is a fairly flexy rod, actually, to be fair, so... But, yeah, this, this feels like a good, decent fish, actually. Yeah, happy with that. Yay! Really good. Got a, got a place. And someone else's tackle, actually. So, yeah, first one of the day. Well happy. So there it is. Nice place, first one. Absolutely over the moon. Perfect hooked as well. Also, the benefit of someone else's line and a monkey or fish on the end of it, sadly. But hey, -oh, I'll clean that up. And it's early doors, so I'm really chuffed about this. Well worth coming to Brighton. 
well worth it. Well, I've had a good start and uh, I've had a few bites as well. So one place so far, a few bites and uh, it's looking promising. And believe it or not, what did the fish come on? The green and black beads. So, are the green and black beads going to be the ones to use all the time? Or am I going to catch another fish on the uh, green and pinks? So the challenge is on still. It'll be interesting to see if I do see a noticeable difference in uh, the green and blacks then obviously I'll change straight over with the other rig because ultimately I want to catch as many fish as I can and enjoy the day. So uh, I'm going to leave the rods to it. It's nice and flat out there. The wind's behind me. It's almost perfect conditions. I'm not too worried about the sun really, to be honest. I've had some good cracking placing days when it's been this sort of weather, sort of overcast. Just to be nice if the wind holds off as well though. But nevertheless, Let's get on with it, see what happens. And I'll bring you back when there's some more place well, to react. I've got a bit of a bite going on that right hand rod at the moment. So I'm just going to let it uh, materialise a little bit, give it a chance to have a good go at it. And uh, we'll see what happens. The left hand rod obviously is bent right over at the moment. So sort of it's quite a soft tip rod that one. So, so uh, I don't know if you just see that, another knock on it. I'm just going to give it a little bit more time. I do like to give the place a little bit more time than normal. I don't like the strike into them. And uh, see what happens. So it's looking like I've got a good chance here. So I'm just going to kick it hold of the rod and see if we can get this in. I'm going to feel for the bite again. I'm just going to ease it actually, that's what I'm going to do. I've got breakaways, so I need to pull the breakaway a bit. It doesn't feel like it's there at the moment, so I'm just going to leave it and see if it comes back. I generally don't mind following the bait and uh, yeah, I'm going to leave it for a little bit, see what happens. I don't know if you just see that again, it's, it's still there so that's good news. It's, so I'll just leave it a little bit longer I think. Well yeah, it materialised, I did have another place. But that is small, isn't it? Just a palm of my hand, look. But there we are, it's another place. So that was on the green and pink beads. So it's one apiece at the moment. So uh, let's see what happens. Get it back. So, time for another rebate up. Got a bit of a tangle on going here as well. Sort some of these worms out. That wind's getting up a little bit as well now.
These are nice worms, I must admit. These are nice worms. Right, we're all clipped up, all baited up, we're all ready to go. It's like mental here at the moment, absolutely mental. <laughs> Great, isn't it, when, that's, when that happens, isn't it? When the, when the rods don't stop biting. You've got to make the most of that. Right, let's get it out. Well, I've got another bite on the left hand rod. Again, I'm going to let it materialise a little bit and uh, see what happens. I am so glad that I've come down to Brighton. It's been an absolute godsend to come down here and uh, do a bit of fishing and actually catch something because it's really nice. I've had a couple of two blanks and then I've produced a pout on my third attempt. And now a fourth attempt, I've had a couple of plays now, so that's quite nice. And it feels like I'm getting somewhere now, and obviously the season's uh, well there now, sort of thing, a real beginning of the spring with all the species coming in, and it's starting to show, which is great. Certainly giving a good old nod for itself, that's for sure. So I think it's time to uh, have a feel, see if it's there. So again, I've just pulled into it. I'm just going to feel, see if it bites back. Well, there's my way for my left rod to give it a, no a no sort of nod. And uh, my right, right rod just slamming over. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So, yeah, what do I get for my pleasure? So, lovely bass, absolute cracker. Let's get that off. Look at that. Oh, beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Brilliant. Just about size, I would say but I'm, I'm going to put it back. But not only that, but also a place as well on the same rig. So again, what are they coming on this time? They're the rig. Spoons, green and pinks at the moment are winning. So let's get the uh, fish back and get back out there. Absolutely fantastic. It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Can't believe it. Well, I'll take this all day long. A nice double shot of place. Happy days, eh? Happy days. So uh, I'll get it back. 
and uh, actually tell a lie. Oh no, no, one of them's a flounder actually. Oh, that's a nice surprise. So I'll, I'll only get them back, they're not massive here. So there we go, very nice. Nice flounder. And a nice place. Skim back. Well, the rod's uh, nodding quite nicely. I think that's time for a reel up on that one. You never know, it might be a double shot again. Well, it's just about high tide now, and uh, the rain has just started. But, and uh, the bites have slackened off a little bit now. Uh, I've had a few more since I caught the, uh, I'll show you the last few sort of thing. Uh, most of them have been sort of around the sort of palm size, hand palm size that is, and uh, a little bit bigger sort of thing, but there's been fairly consistent bites, which has been quite nice. And uh, yeah, it's been great. It has been good. It has been good. A lot better than I thought it was going to be doing on shirt down here. So yeah, over the moon. Uh, I'm going to fish it probably about an hour to a couple of hours down, see what produces. And uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll bring you back later on, uh, just before I wrap it up and let you know how I've got on in, in the final tally. Well, it's come to the time where it's time to wrap the gear up and head for home. The rain's just starting. So uh, I just think, I don't fancy getting wet today, but I've had a fantastic day on the place. I've had 17 plates in total, uh, one flounder, one bass, and it's been absolutely fantastic of a day. Bites non-stop all day, some really good action. I'm um, taking two for the table for home, and uh, that's me done. Come down to Brighton, it seems to be really good for the old place down here at the moment. Give it a go, let us know how you get on. Don't forget to subscribe, like, thumbs up, and uh, get out there. Go back yourself some place.